So I have a moved amendment number one and two. Okay. Um, with respect to uh, the Labour Party motion here, I have to compliment um, uh, Senator Moynihan for bringing this forward. And as, as she spoke, I had visions of my youth. Uh, where there was one Garda in Salt Hill in Galway, and that one Garda was able to police the entire uh, holiday resort. I remember a row breaking out one night in Salt Hill, and the Garda stood in the middle of the road and put the two opposing sides on either side of the street, and nobody dared move. <coughs> Try doing that today. But, Minister, it's all very well talking about community Garda and all this sort of thing. Twice today I heard the term pinch points. The last time I heard pinch points was from the Chief of Staff of the Defence Forces when he said there were problems, pinch points. We had eight chips in service at that time. We have one in service now. We had uh, seven, or sorry, close to eight and a half thousand soldiers at that time. We have seven and a half thousand now. We had an Air Corps uh, that was fully serviceable at that time. We don't have that now. So, pinch points do not answer the question. There are serious problems in the Garda Síochána, and what we're doing is we're moving uh, services from community policing into armed services where we have high-profile thugs operating in some parts of the country, and they, they need an armed response. So, from that point of view, the Garda Commissioner and superintendents and chief superintendents have to use the resources to tackle the worst cases. Uh, I think the removal of the community Garda is really to the detriment of the organisation in so many ways. Uh, Senator Moynihan spoke about everybody in her communi community knew the Garda by name, and that's so hugely important. Kids grow up to know that's Garda Burke or that's Garda Murphy or whatever. They get to know them, they get comfortable with them. Those community Garda, they pick up so much intelligence on the ground. It's hugely important. So, what, where, where are we running into a problem? You're putting in recruiting uh, uh, systems, and young Gardaí are walking out the gate. And why are they walking out? They're walking out because they realise the post-2013 pension, which is known as the Single Pension Act, will give them absolutely nothing. So they go in, they see the career in front of them, and they say, hang on a minute, at the end of my 40-year service, I have nothing. I have a miserable pension which is based on my entire service. It used to be the case that if you got promoted, the last three years of your service, whatever rank you were at, that was the pension you got. Now the pension is career average. It's rubbish. It's nonsense. And it is driving uniformed service, guardy, firefighters, prison officers and uh, military personnel out the gates. The Single Pension Act that was brought in by people who took their big pensions before they left themselves in the civil service have decimated the civil service, but have particularly decimated those services that are on accelerated pension schemes. And that has to be fixed. It ha deeper have to go back and have to look at the way they tackled pensions, and they have to fix that and fix it urgently. I'm calling today for a liaison officer. Um, uh, if we look at the situation uh, in Blanchardstown, for example, if there's a liaison officer in Blanchardstown Garda Station that county councillors, senators, TDs can pick up the phone and they know Garda Murphy or Garda Maguire or whatever his name or her name might be, is an immediate contact to deal with a crisis situation in their area. And I think that's a reasonable request. If we can't have community policing, the very least we should have is a community police officer that can be contacted directly at Garda headquarters, the headquarters of the particular region uh, or the particular Garda station, uh, uh, as is the case in Dublin. I think what Labour have brought forward here today, Senator Moynihan, I think it, it would be the ideal if we could have that in Dublin City and Limerick and Galway and various other places. Uh, I see my colleague Senator Byrne there, she'll remember the bad old days in Limerick and it was policing, community policing and commitment from the local people that fixed it. And Limerick is a city today that we don't have huge crime in and, and it is a pleasurable city to visit. And it was done by cooperation across the board 
board between community, between uh, Gardaí and elected representatives in Limerick who had a direct line into the Garda station and where there was a problem it was uh, possible to fix it. So unless you fix the terms and conditions of employment for Gardaí, unless you get a situation where you're engaging with uh, the GRA, the AGSI and the superintendents with respect to things such as uh, uh, rosters, uh, such as supports, I, I too would welcome the body cameras and things like that. All of these things are important, but we need to move them forward fast. But unless you fix the terms and conditions of employment, uh, specifically the pensions, you need to go back for uniform services to the pre-2008 uh, pensions in order that you will encourage people to come in and to give full life service. The uh, post-2013 pension, I'm afraid, has destroyed the services. That's not a pinch point. That is a stranglehold on the organisation and the organisation will die just as the Defence Forces has fallen apart, it will die because people see no career future in it. So I'm asking you, Minister, I know it's not your area of responsibility, but to go back to the Minister that has responsibility and say, we really got to sit down and look at how we deal with uniform services and their pensions. I'll leave it at that. Thank Great you. Thank you, Senator. Senator